All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I have a really cool piece here with me. This is the Beck Knives Steelcraft Edition Mini Glimpse. Uh, this particular uh, model is in uh, is a titanium frame lock with uh, carbon fiber inlays. Uh, as usual, we're gonna analyze the visual, uh, the auditory and kinesthetic aspect of this blade. And basically we're gonna look at uh, how it looks, how it sounds and how it feels. And um, uh, this is amongst of uh, my wife's favorite blades. And um, I'll share you in a second why is that. So let's get into the visuals of this cool piece. Um, noticing like immediately, like uh, the symmetry of these two, when it's closed, when, of these two lines. It's, it's really nice. And um, uh, I, I appreciate the fact that I can... Uh, that the, this uh, flipper tab resembles like a, the, a duck beak uh, in in the closed position, and uh, it's really it's really funny. I cannot unsee this anymore. And when I open the blade, boom, you have a toucan. So this is a, a pretty nice uh, knife bird, let's say. Um, I really love this mohawk here because it's the only aggressive, let's say, line, not rounded, uh, on the on the edges uh, of the blade when it's closed. I, I really, I really like how they polished it, how it looks. I, I think it's, it's very cool. Another th uh, thing that I appreciate in the design is that the pivot screw has no bit socket, so it confers a really clean look to the presentation side. Um, very, very stunning look, clean look. Also, you can notice the, in, the carbon fiber inlays on the presentation side and clip side are different. And they cut them out in the clip side just to allocate the pocket clip. So it's perfectly matching the shape of the pocket clip. So very, very nice job. Um, Another little detail that I appreciate a lot is that the pocket clip has a cutout which follows the lines of the lanyard hole. This is a, this is a nice touch. Um, when, you, when you open the blade, you will notice that there is one main curve to the top, on the top, with just a little interruption here to the continuity, of course, Mohawk. And then you have this, the, the edge, which creates in uh, around this finger choil, sharpening choil, like a question mark uh, kind of thing. And um, rounds, creates like a curved, beautiful. I, I really like this how the, this line breaks a little bit, but not so much, and then gets back to the handle. Very, very smooth here. Uh, overall, balanced design. Really, really pleasant. Um, if you notice, the flats on the blade have a different direction you see, it's like horizontal. The hollow ground is vertical as well as the swedge to create a nice contrast uh, around this beautiful fuller with different sizes holes drilled through the blade. Another distinctive uh, bag uh, uh, touch that you can find uh, among most of their knives and it's uh, instantly recognizable the precision it's it's just outstanding so you see this flat ends like right at the beginning of this hole and the top right after turn around boom same thing so completely symmetric uh, really really nice uh, logo placement is perfect on this side and we have IKBS logo 
on the flipper tab, which doesn't um, ruin the look at all. So uh, let's check the sound of this blade. So basically we can break down the opening action. So when the detent uh, ball uh, breaks the detent, there's basically no sound. Hear this. There's no sound. So the blade is just, the, the ball is just breaking the detent and just in a silent way. When you open the blade, you can just hear a gentle rub of the ceramic bearings rubbing against the titanium scales. It's very subtle, but delicate. Uh, the fact that there's no uh, detent ball ramp makes this very, very gentle and subtle sound. Hear this. Really, really delicate. And when you engage the lock, it's a very quiet click. It's really cool. It's solid, but it's quiet. Um, one only, my only gripe on the action of this one is when you disengage the lock like this, and at the same time, you pull the blade in this direction, you pull it back, you might hear some, uh, noise of the titanium skate rubbing against, of the titanium lock face rubbing against the steel of the blade. Hear this. This happens in most of the knives, but this one is a little bit louder. So basically, if you don't push, there's no sound. There's no noise when disengaging the lock. If you pull the blade back, you can, you can accentuate that. So not a big deal, but something to keep in mind if you like the, the, the noise of, uh, that a blade makes. Um, the closing action, when the blade goes back, to its play in the closed position, it's a very distinctive clink. Hear this. Really good. It, it's very nice. It is gentle. It's not nothing that's gonna scare uh, anyone. So it's a subtle sound. I appreciate that a lot because when you are, if you are in a public environment and you're gonna deploy the blade, it locks in place very gently and sil almost silently. And when you close it, it's just like beautiful. So there you have it. This is the sound uh, that the Mini Glimpse makes. Let's have a look at the feeling, the kinesthetic uh, aspect of this, this one, because uh, it's, uh, you know, one of my wife's favorite blades uh, because of the uh, simplicity uh, of uh, deploying the blade. So you have basically four methods. You can just light switch like this, and uh, you can just push button like this. You can uh, um, pinch from this side, for example, and just deploy like that. Or, as my wife loves to do, is like with the middle finger. You can just do, oops, you can just do, it's, you can just do this. So, very good uh, amount of uh, opening uh, choices you have. Um, when, you, when you flip it open, because the blade is not so heavy, you don't have like too much recoil, so you don't have the feedback you normally receive with a heavier blade, but still, it gives you uh, the feeling of uh, an assisted knife. I don't know, it's, it's tough to describe. It's, the blade is very light, so you don't have the recoil that the handle moves, but because of the geometry, I guess, it's, uh, the feeling is like that of an assisted one with no recoil. So it's a, it's a, mix, um, it's a mixed feeling. Um, when you close the blade, 
uh, when you disengage the lock, of course, the blade is just free falling, but you have to wiggle a little bit if you wanna close it. So it doesn't really fall shut, but with a little wiggle, with a bit of a wiggle, boom, it's down. And for a blade this light, this is a great accomplishment, I think. Really smooth action. Um, another beautiful feeling that you will receive holding this knife is when you rub your finger in the... here, in this area, uh, when the inlay, the carbon fiber inlay contacts the titanium, it's, it's purely flawless. Uh, fit and finish is, again, one of the highlights of this knife. You won't be able to notice if you were blindfolded that there's like any gap, any difference in material even. So that's really impressive. Um, something also to mention is that you have a couple of uh, options, a couple position. Uh, positions uh, for your hand. One, just the classic one, and uh, just a little bit recessed. And if you need to do a little bit more precision work, you can use this one as a finger choil, even if it's not huge, but if you have a smaller hand, it, it works. So finger choil and choke up a little bit. There's no jimping. So it's a little bit slippery, uh, so not ideal, but still, you can do very precise work because you're gonna just put the fingertip, not you're not gonna show it all up, just like this, and you're gonna be really, really precise in your work. So, and, and it's very pleasant because it's rounded and chamfered, so it's, um, it's well made. Uh, one little hotspot you will feel when holding and squeezing the, the, the handle uh, strongly is the ceramic ball in the uh, pocket clip because it protrudes a little bit too much in my opinion so it creates this hot spot here uh, that it's not perfect in my opinion another great design we talked about is the mohawk uh, backspacer which is really really functionally useful because it creates some friction you know in the palm of your hand when you're gonna push down the, the flipper tab to, to deploy the blade so it's securely in the palm of your hand. So that is very intelligent uh, design. Also, I like uh, this area of the knife like uh, tapering down because that's the natural uh, position it's going to be in your hand. So it has to be upwards, like, you know, going this way, not going this way. So again, uh, it, it has a beautiful feeling. It, it doesn't destroy, <laughs> shred your hand, uh, and it just works. So this is another great aspect. The, another little gripe that I have is just the uh, cut out for the uh, finger here to disengage the lock. It's a little bit narrow for my fingers, but my, my wife's uh, hands are smaller, so she loves that. For her, it's just perfect. I, I would say... Uh, this is her favorite, um, yeah, top three favorite um, of her. So it, it's, uh, it's suitable also for ladies. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, there you have it. Um, this is the Bag Knife Steelcraft Mini Glimpse. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and stay tuned.